Hello and welcome to an updated version on how to set your audio settings for music lessons using Zoom's desktop application. The first thing you need to do is open up Zoom and make sure that you have the latest version. To do this, go to the top right hand corner of the screen where you see your initials and click on it to access the drop down menu. Then scroll down for check for updates. As of this video's recording, this Zoom has the latest version of 5.4.4. If you have not installed the latest version, please pause the video and come back once you've installed it. All right, so let's get to the settings. You can access the audio settings by going back up to that top right hand corner, click on your initials for the drop down menu and go to settings. You'll find the audio settings as the third option on the left side here. Zoom is originally a conference app, so they have special codecs and programs that will help enhance audio for speech and conference calls. Unfortunately, these codecs will distort and change the sound in a way that doesn't work for music lessons. For music lessons, we would want the most original, unaltered sound that your equipment and internet can transfer. So the first thing you want to do is uncheck the automatically adjust microphone volume. This will keep Zoom from altering the volume of what you play, because you don't want to be playing something quiet and have Zoom think that it needs to magnify the volume and transmit it to your recipient. Then you want to change the background noise suppression to low. This will keep Zoom from muting certain parts of your playing which it thinks might be background noise. From there, we're gonna scroll down and click on advanced. Ideally, the teacher and student would be wearing headphones so that the application doesn't need to worry about canceling out the echo that can be caused when Zoom picks up the audio from your speakers. But in the case that this is not possible, change the echo cancellation to auto. Then check off show in meeting options to enable original sound from the microphone. This will allow you to use these music settings or not, depending if you're in a music lesson or a conference call. Then check off disable echo cancellation if you've got headphones on and you want to check off high fidelity music mode, which is a new setting that Zoom has created to improve the overall audio experience for people like us who use Zoom for music lessons. And now you're all done. So you can enter your Zoom lesson room or start a new meeting. To turn on all of these options that we have, you can go to the top left-hand corner of your screen and click on turn on original sound. If you wanna turn them off, then you just click turn off original sound. So I hope that helps and happy music making.